So first, I'm going to show you the incorrect way to do a mask, and I'm not sure it's going to work well on Alan's well, I could do that. example. Like I said, that's, that's all it is. Run out of production running kit that... <laughs> okay, so first, because we're going to do two things with this. The second one's not going to be quite as easy, but this is that blue tack tape. I did this already. That's been painted on for a week. I know when I go to peel that off. It's going to peel the paint. Nope. It's nope. not going to peel nope. the paint. Nope. It's not going to leave residue. Nope. It never has. Well, and I won't care. Oh. <laughs> I've never done a curved one in a long time, so I don't know how well this is going to work. And it may not. I may have to do it in parts, which is why yeah. we have tools. Yeah. If you go on uh, too much of a curve, it's <coughs> cause the tape to... Two <coughs> simple tools. Big one? Okay. Q-tip. Toothpick. Buffing tool. Whatever you want to call it. Impossible. I'm looking at Mark's using that tool. One of the tools I have is uh, one of the ones you can buy at Sally Beauty. It's a it's a long stick. It's a dowel. Looks like about this one, and it has a point on one end and a flat yeah. on the yes. other. And it's for your cuticles. For cuticles yes, right. it works perfect for doing that for burnishing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So you you have a stir stick for your charge. <laughs> when you're married, Jim, I mean to the same woman, not multiple. You know, you end up following them in places. You know. <laughs> oh, it's right in front of me. This is not sharp, but always before you do this, fresh blade. And the neat part is, you don't need a steady hand. And this is how not to do it or how to do it? <laughs> yeah, this is how everyone hates doing it. They say it takes too long. Not, that's the way I do it, and I like it. Should have already used every square word twice. <laughs> <laughs> Notice you're not using a zero canopy. No. No. <laughs> doing a zero canopy is masochistic. <laughs> Did you get your? Uh, Could be doing the uh, the what is it? The old monogram devastator canopy. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's geez. nasty too. It doesn't matter. George got what twelve of them in his stash the, the yeah. day we were down there. Did you buy six of them? No. Oh come on, Clay. <laughs> I don't know how many we counted, man. God. Three cut masks for that day. What's that? That Devastator, the Monogram Devastator. The Monogram 48 scale Panther was his most numerous kit. Really? I had 15 of them. Oh, Jesus. Well, I forgot how many say, we what counted. What did you say? Devastator. In, 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 you know, every time they, he, I guess he had one every time they repopped it, he had to have it. Remember, Mark, when we were going through, when we first went through all the Devastators we found? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, there was a did he say Monogram? Yeah, Little Mark was there. Did yeah. he say Monogram? No, but he said monogram panther? Yes. Yeah, the jet. The, the panther. Oh, yeah, 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 the jet. Oh, sorry. Yeah. F9F2. Yeah. Yeah, F9 oh. Sorry, armor guy, panther, tank. Yeah. 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 My yeah. bad. Sorry. <laughs> nope, that's like I said. That, that would have been happen. one of the ones. Please show me a picture. Yes, didn't happen. They hey, did that the way, cruddy guys, tiger. I in a uh, box there with a couple of magazines and books and stuff that I'm getting rid of, so it's free. So take You are or your wife is? I <laughs> I didn't know they did a uh, tiger. <laughs> uh, it was one it's of those stupid snap, get kids in the models. Oh, okay. 
Of course, anything Monogram did armor-wise was stupid get kids into models to begin with. Well, they're doing them now in 35th, and they were doing them in 32nd. And they haven't changed a bit. No. Uh, Monogram. Monogram. Well, Holy Armor was always 32nd. They, they put them in boxes that say 35th, say 35th but yes. it's 32nd. Oh, is that right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 The old is there. Sherman Chain wasn't even, wasn't even close. I was just saying. Mark Wars. I don't. Mark Wars. I don't. For the time period, those were damn good kids. Well, Chip oh, Payne yeah. took, took them and turned them into gorgeous works of yeah. art. Yep, yeah. Chip Payne. That's yeah. one of the reasons you bought that kit yep. is to get the Chip Payne pamphlet in there. But you got to applaud Monogram's plot trying to break history and get armor and aircraft in the same scale in oh, yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So, mm. Which is why they Good listed them that way. Which is why they did that. You dip your uh, canopy in. Yep, always. So does anybody use Future for their bathroom linoleum floors? Hell no. <laughs> Used to. Used to, yeah. The, the new linoleum doesn't take it. So. And it's done. Yeah. See? Yeah. It has good. never leaked. has never bled. Yeah. What was the Chevy? Was it blue tack? Or was it white tan masking tape? You had white masking tape okay. in it, yeah. I've never peeled any residue off. And I, I leave, like I said... Does that blue line? I've there? already lost it again. Yeah, this is a painter's tape. Painter's tape, the painter's blue painter's tape. Tape. So, but you spray oh. paint. This has already been on for two yeah. weeks. Before I finally get it attached to that TIE fighter for a full coat, probably going to be another two weeks. When I peel it off, guarantee you will have no residue. Yeah. Nice. A green frog it's just, is just as good. Well, the green frog yeah, green, scares me because it's thicker. I have yeah. not yeah. tried Yeah, it's with thicker. It. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the green thing you need to... use enamel paint, it'll bleed. Yeah. And the uh, thing you need to remember on the green frog, it's only the edges that they say are bleed proof. Right. So when you go to cut your strips like I just Very did, nice. you need to make sure your edge is on the part that you're oh, trying to I burnish down. Right. And you have to be careful with this blue tape. Go Ooh. for the name brands like he's got 3M. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you use Bob's blue tape, yeah. forget yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget it. I don't know about They're the not all made but... the same. Right. Yeah. That's true. Okay, so the other part I wanted to show because someone had asked, Bad canopy to do this with, just so you know, there is no ribbing on the back part. So when you go to separate it, guess what? You're making the rib on the back part. Yeah. Um, that's just one of those things that you need to know. Now, this is the company I buy my tool from. This is it right here, how it looks when you first get it. You can buy saw blades to go with it. The only reason I preach this, couple actually, the blades are steel as opposed to photo etched aluminum or photo etched brass. Yeah. Uh, you have two, what they call fine, and they call it medium, but to me it's like, should be super fine and fine. The neat thing about it, wrong tool, is it is slightly adjustable. So depending on what you plan to cut, you have a little bit of play on either side. Mm. Okay. So eyes go on, we're gonna use the fine. So the question I was gonna ask is, if you cut the entire canopy from top to bottom, you can't do it with that saw. Right? Sure you can. With this you saw, can. yes. You just have to position your canopy properly with the blade. Right, like yeah. if I grabbed Clay's 172nd, I could cut through the whole thing in one shot. Really? You don't want to make sense that, yeah, I got He's got them. so many to, to burn, it's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem. I got more canopies than anything else. It all depends like anything else. It all depends on the size of your port. You can now, in all honestly, it would be close. I'll get down to yeah. probably about. Okay. Yeah, you cut it now where his wife throws it away, all the spare yeah, parts. She will bad. not, so be quiet. This when he kicks the bucket. Too. That's the problem with cruddy kids, guys. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Super fine or the fine? Super. It's a thick ass canopy. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. There is That's the only thing you have to worry about stuff. when you're doing this, like Robin mentioned, for if I was doing this, it'd be on one one direction only. Yeah, you should always right. pull with a saw on plastic, you should pull, not push. 
because you when you push, you tend to put a stress on. Damn, the plastics, I'm good. And the and the, uh, and the, you get it the right poor quality the... plastics will cut. Well, and you'll get a lot of hairline. Pretty plastics, pretty well for and, uh, yeah. other stuff as well. Right. Like yeah. Crack and chip a lot faster. Get into the habit of sawing, even your regular plastic. Did cut an angle for scratch building. Pull the saw. Where you pretty good. Okay. When you pull the saw, you put less stress on the part, and you have better control. Yeah. Yeah, and I have a photo etch blade, which I like because the cut is thinner, so I lose less material, which means the pieces come closer to actually being full size. Mm -hmm. But um, with larger canopies, 48 scale, 30 second scale, if you're cutting, mm -hmm. um, you'll have to rotate the position of the canopy and whatever however you're holding it mm -hmm. so oh, yeah. that uh, because the blade isn't uh, thick enough to go from right top through. to bottom exactly. all the way through. Yeah, that's that's what Mark's part. doing. He hasn't right rotated. Now. He rotates the part. Right. 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 You'd also be able, by rotating the part, you can concentrate uh, on the line years that you're cutting. In, uh, oh. That's the worst part. This one doesn't have a line. I it's there. I don't like those photo etch blades uh, because you can make a line with they bend very, very easily. What? Mark, the you can make a line with the tape if you want to, and or, or at least one end. <laughs> I already started cutting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're right. I mean, yeah. and then you if it was his canopy, he would. would. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, probably not. No, he wouldn't because it wouldn't have enough frame to be on both sides, so it's not accurate. Yep. And it doesn't go on a shirt. What's the so purpose of <laughs> sewing this thing up? <laughs> well, well, some kids, the some kids they, you only get the one-piece canopy. Right. Yeah. Some guys, yeah. well, you get to display with the canopy open. Yeah. Right. Um, so by cutting the canopy, you can you can right. then... So it has uh, nothing to do with masking, really. No, no, not with masking. This is a different... This is a different he's, just, he's talking about masking so you have a line to follow to cut right, right. right now. Right. So that's all. And hopefully not yep, just ruin that. Here. Yeah. Future. <laughs>